be on Prince George's County as the annual Prince George's Classic gears up. It's a three-day event that centers around a football game between two historically black colleges. News Channel 8's Corinne Redmond has a preview of this year's game and all the events leading up to it. It's become a major event for the past four years in Prince George's County, showcasing the black college experience. HBCUs, um, we have 20 and within a hundred, 200 mile radius of Prince George's County. We think that it's important that our children know about HBCUs. This year, the Prince George's County Classic kicks off September 27th. Bowie State University will host the three-day events. It's a combination of cultural celebration, community, education, camaraderie, and sportsmanship. So some highlights of the Classic Weekend include the premier game, Bowie State versus St. Paul College, a golf tournament, step show, and a battle of the bands all-out competition. The football game is the main event, and uh, that's the one that we're most excited about. Uh, but as you heard discussed earlier, there are a number of uh, other events that will take place around that Classic Weekend. Now, some of them will, will be off campus at other locations. The step show, for example, and the battle of the bands and whatnot will be at other venues. The Classic is organized by the county's Black Chamber of Commerce, which says the event is an effort to connect major businesses like State Farm Insurance and Southwest Airlines to the community through their sponsorships. Prince George's has long been distinguished as being the most affluent majority African American county in the country. Many residents here have ties to historically black colleges, so that's why event planners say it's the premier location to host such an event. The elected officials of Prince George's County are 100% behind this endeavor. Councilman Knott, school board member Pat Fletcher, Delegate Jay Walker, uh, we've got Carlton Atkinson representing our U.S. Senator Ben Cardin, we've got Terrence Taylor representing uh, our majority leader in the House, Benny Hoyer, and of course we have Julius West representing my colleague in the House, Chris Van Howell. That says something. That says we believe in this event. That says we're supporting this event, and that says we think this event is very important. Let me take a moment and thank Petey Green and Mike Little. Because you know what they say, without the vision, the people perish. Well, it's not that dramatic, but it's certainly a case of vision. And that is to say that without their idea, without their concept, without their vision, there would be no Prince George's class. And I know the hard work, the personal sacrifice that they have made to continue to promote this effort. Was coming. We've had some rainy days, and it would have been easy for them to say, well, let's throw in the towel. They didn't do it. They said, we're going to keep working. We're going to make this thing happen. It's going to be an important element of Prince George's County. So, Mike, Petey, I just want to personally thank you. We'll also feature a fashion show and college fair. The three-day event is expected to draw in over 20,000 people. In Lanham, Corinne Redmond, News Channel 8.